السلام علیکم کی ڈفرینسز بٹوین اسلامک اینڈ کنونشنل بینکنگ دیر آر مینی ڈفرینسز بٹوین اسلامک اینڈ کنونشنل بینکنگ ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس سم آف دی مین ڈفرینسز بٹوین اسلامک اینڈ کنونشنل بینکنگ نمبر ون آل دی ایکٹیویٹیز آف این اسلامک بینک آر ان کمپلائنس وتھ شریا پرنسپلس آن دی کانٹری The activities of a conventional bank are Sharia non-compliant. Number two, Islamic banking involves exchange of real assets, whereas conventional banking revolves around exchange of money. Islamic banks do not deal with such customers whose core business activity is Sharia non-compliant. Conventional banks, on the other hand, can deal with such customers whose core business activity and income are completely Sharia non-compliant. Islamic banks accept saving deposits on the basis of mudaraba, which is a form of partnership, whereas conventional banks accept saving deposits on the basis of qard or loan, which results in interest or riba. Islamic banks provide financing facilities on the basis of Sharia compliant contracts such as shirkat or partnership, sale and purchase, ijara or rental arrangements, etc. Conventional banks extend financing facilities through interest or riba based loans which is prohibited in Sharia. All financial dealings of an Islamic bank are supervised through a comprehensive Sharia governance system. In the absence of a Sharia governance system, there is no mechanism of a Sharia-based supervision of the financial dealings of a conventional bank. We hope that this video will help clarify some of the major differences between Islamic and conventional banking and help you in choosing Islamic banking for all your banking needs. Jazakallah.